Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you the user groups uh, setting within the PHP Fox software. Uh, I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of people posting uh, questions about preventing spam on their PHP Fox sites. And uh, spam is um, an inevitable burden that you're going to have to deal with uh, by running a site like this. And um, one way that uh, I find really good to, to deal with it is by making use of the, the user group settings that's available within the PHP Fox admin area and I know this is how a number of other users um, like uh, Data66 and uh, PHP Fox even uh, manage their sites uh, at the XYZ we also manage our forum in a similar similar way where we approve people and uh, once they've been approved manually they have uh, greater permissions to the site so that's basically um, what we're going to do here so we've got our PHP Fox site we're going to make our way over to the admin here and um, this is uh, version 3.3 .3. so there is a new feature here that I haven't quite tested yet and um, we'll see it in uh, modules here and that's the comparison chart so here we can create different packages um, for users and uh, the user group setting is over here so we can see the user group setting under users and we can manage our user groups by clicking here and by default we see we have administrators registered users guests and staff so registered users may be a bit too much for, for most users to, um, to you may have too many permissions for people and that's why you're having a problem with spam so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to create a verified user and reduce the permissions for registered users and increase them for verified users so that way you can uh, verify people or move people up so we're going to create two user groups here and to get started we just click here so this one's going to be a verified user and we can inherit the permissions from registered users so you can also put an icon in there if you like so we're going to add the, the verified user group and now it's going to take us to the settings and we can also create another one paid user so these are users that are going to be paid users and then now that we've got these two groups we can manage our user groups so to get started we're going to manage our registered users so we, sorry I've gone to the wrong section we go to the um, manage user groups this is it here and registered users manage user settings this one here so here we have all the, the different settings here and I noticed some people have been saying that they have bloggers from China coming on submitting 20 or 30 blogs um, so by default um, registered users these are people that have just signed up cannot post blogs you know they, they need to be they need to be verified before they can use these settings so by default they can add a new blog so we're going to say no to this so also there's capture settings yes so they have to always add a capture when they're just a registered user it's only the uh, verified and the paid users that are exempt from capture so that's how I've set this one up comments so we can scroll down and see the different features for comments and there's a number of other different features like marketplace can they feature listings can they create a listing no they're just registered users we're gonna make this a paid feature or a verified user feature pages 
page. So again, they're not going to be able to create new pages. They have to be verified. And in the forum, so we can scroll down. So they can post a, a new thread. But um, we can also look at the other settings and see if they're approve their threads before they're publicly displayed. So yes. So they have to have their forum posts approved. And things like this. So we've just like this we've changed our settings and uh, we'll see under users we now have um, different user groups. They are paid and verified users as well. Now under tools or modules we can manage our packages. So this is a new feature that's uh, just come out with 3.3 so do excuse me I've not quite tested it yet but uh, I do imagine it's quite straightforward. Um, we've got our subscription packages which I've navigated to under the module setting. So I've clicked here under manage packages and uh, I've got no packages because I, I have not created one yet. So I'm going to create a new package. Paid member. So this is for paid users. So user group on success, paid user. User group on failure, they just registered users. So we can add it to registration if we wish. And the price is just going to be ten dollars US, ten euros, and ten pounds. A non-recurring price. So there's no recurring payments, and we can even choose a background color if we wish. So there we go. We've got paid member. So we can create a new package. And I want to see if we can do a, uh, a free one here. Just, I haven't tested this yet. We're going to do verified. This is for free but verified users. So on a success, they're going to be a verified user. On a failure, they're just going to be verified. So there's no price for this one submit. Let's go to our comparison. So there we go, we've got our paid member and our verified member. So we can add a feature here. Just like this. So um, I think we should also uh, add the the, verif the registered users. Just because that's the standard. This is the standard member ship level for most users. And on success, they become registered users and they are just guests. So there we go. We've added our three packages. So I want to organize them like this. And now go to the comparison add new feature. So you could write something like capture. Yes. No. No. So add a new feature. Can post logs. No.
so we can add new features like this. And there we go. So I've added my membership comparison and we're going to see if we can now see this on the site. We may have to um, check different, uh, a different area or try a different membership level. Let's look at our profile here. I don't know if we're going to see the comparison, but um, that's basically it. Now, now we've got our different permissions and uh, other users will be able to um, sign up. So if I maybe if I sign log out of this account, create a new account, we can see what it looks like. Let's do a login to Twitter. We just signed up with Twitter here. So it's asking for a valid email address. And So now we're a registered user. So if we go over to the blog section, we'll see that we don't have certain permissions to certain areas of the site. I'll we'll add a new blog. So it says this feature or section you are attempting to use is not permitted with your membership level. So we have a look at the membership packages here. And they're not displaying. So we have to look into this setting, how to get this working. Perhaps create another video regarding it. We're going to try logging in here with the admin and uh, changing some of the settings quickly to see if that, that works at all. So as I said before in the video, I've not quite had a chance to play around with this particular setting, but uh, the purpose of this video is more to give you insight into the user group settings here and um, the subscribe comparison pack is a new feature. So we're gonna manage the packages edit the package and add this one to registration so now it's log out and log out of the site So I think I'm going to stop the video here. It's, uh, it's getting up to my time limit of the video. But um, we'll continue to, to look into this and uh, try and get the comparison chart working. Um, we'll try logging in here again to see if it quickly gives us the option. Use another account.
So we've now just signed up with another Twitter account. for So it does not have the uh, form as I'd hoped it would, but uh, we'll look into this and we'll post a link to uh, to get this working and blow this video. So thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.